Good morning. Happy Monday morning, everybody. Good to see everybody on this Mass Effect Monday. It's time to dive back into the world of Mass Effect and get as far as we can to the end. Will we beat the game today? I don't know. I'm not sure how close we are. You guys probably have a better idea than me, but we will get close. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. David and Matt with a donation of stars says, hey, hope you have fun. What do you think of Citadel? I have yet to play it myself. Uh, Cit the Citadel DLC was wonderful. It was uh, definitely fan service, but a whole lot of fun fan service. And we got to meet all of our favorite friends from the previous games, as well as this one. Daniel, first in the YouTube chat today. Good to see you, Daniel, and good to see every everyone else, all of the regulars and members and Patreon subscribers. John DeGiam Berardino, Automatic Beats with the Gold Derby, Alt Grendel with the Gold Derby, Matt Siski, Sarah with the Gold Derby, Slatty Bartfast with the Gold Derby, Survivor from the Old Era, Fanboy AR, Chinator with the Gold Derby, Trezo with the Gold Derby, Nixter, Jeremy, Alt Grendel with the Gold Derby, Matt Rowland, Mila, Weird Beard with the Gold Derby, Deuteronomous Ethan H, both with Gold Derbies, Tyler Cardamona, Adrian Gordon, and Daniel Ockelford with the first super chat of the day says, Hello, Ox. I would like to remind you, don't worry about what others think. Do what is necessary. It is important for the ending. Oh, dear. That sounded ominous. Oh, what what is going to be necessary? Hope it doesn't mean like sacrifice. Of course, that's always what it means. Trezo says, hey, Ox, happy Mass Effect Monday. Hey there, Trezo, good to see you. Jocelyn Ryan with a donation of stars on Facebook says, happy Monday, Ox and all. It's gonna be a long week here today. Is it here today or there today? Well, I suppose there from my perspective, but here from yours. Well, I hope your long week goes by a bit faster than you expect. Jared in the chat today with a donation of stars says, Hey Ox, nice shirt, thank you! Tesla, Science Magazine, everyone's favorite periodical. Trezo on YouTube today with a super chat says, Hey Ox, happy Mass Effect Monday. Hey there, Trezo. Thank you, happy Mass Effect Monday back to you. Garrett McFadden with a donation of stars on YouTube says, Hi Ox and all in chat, hope you're having a good morning. I was watching some old Creation Club videos and wondering what story slash lore do you like from Fallout Radio Silver Shroud, Captain Cosmo, Herbert Harry Dashwood? The story of Herbert Harry Dashwood is just hilarious and funny, and it's tied to a real location. So I think I probably am gonna have to go with uh, the story of Herbert Harry Dashwood. I did an entire video on him, the hero we all need today, who is now residing at Tenpenny Towers um, a long time ago. And so you should check that out on my channel if you haven't seen it already. Great little story in Fallout 3. Pavel in the chat with today's Planescape Torment character. Fujil Forked Tongue, a fiend who signed a contract that forced him to do good deeds and to help others. He helps you with his knowledge and also possession, if you are if you dare to ask for it. Ooh, possession, that sounds ominous. James Trucker says, I'm really looking forward to this ending. Sad it's over so soon. I mean, soon? We're on our 45th episode of Mass Effect. Are we that close to the ending? 
Ethan H. says the ending is divisive. Chat's going to get toxic when the time comes. In before anyone lies, there's no canon ending as of yet. Make choices as you like. Oh, that's the second time we've had a comment like that about the ending. Oh, dear. You guys have me nervous. Jonathan Toombs becomes a silver, uh, became a silver ox. Thank you very much, Jonathan Toombs. Man, how, how, where, how, which direction is this ending going to go? I don't even know. I'm trying to rack my imagination here. Tyler Cardamona says, Hello, Oxhorn from your regional vault Tech representative. Error. Error. System error. Sisty Pig System retort, restored. Have a great day. No, we will not have vault Tech merged with the Sisty Pigs from the Outer Worlds universe. Thank you very much. That's just disgusting. Pavel in the chat with a follow-up to his Torment character with a bit of a Torment fact. If you ask Mort what he is, he'll firstly tell you that he is a murmur. If you ask Grace later, she reveals that that's a lie. What could he be? Possibly a normal human being? I don't know. Mila says, just don't overthink the ending. I mean, you know that's not gonna happen. I overthink everything when it comes to video games. I'll probably sit here and talk about the ending for 30 minutes once we get there. Is it going to depress me? Am I going to walk away depressed? I hope not. I want a good ending. Okay, so, uh, I mean, last time I was in the chat, everyone said I needed to get uh, more war assets to get the best endings. Are there any more war assets I have left to find? I think I got them all, didn't I? Let's dive in and find out. Schleck Engelbrecht says, I've never played Mass Effect, and yet even I know about the ending. Just enjoy the game up until that point. <laughs> you guys are starting to freak me out. Is it really that bad? Oh, no. I don't, how do you know about the ending? And I don't. Thomas McCormick says, with a super chat, the ending was received poorly on release, but they added content to flush it out. You won't be as disappointed as people here with the original in 2012. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Uh, Pyro says you need secret or you need extra assets to get a secret post credit ending, but I don't know how much you need. All right, let's go see what we've got. Where are we? Well, we're about we're about ready. Let's see. Where are we with war assets? Commander. Josh Bunton says good morning, Ox. How was your weekend? I had a wonderful, wonderful weekend with uh, my family and people I care about. It was just relaxing and awesome. I bought a bunch of rose bushes. I'm gonna be uh, putting them on the property. They're outside collecting water right now, but I haven't actually buried them in the, in the land. I'm probably gonna do that this coming weekend, but I'm looking forward to it. Brandon Belfed, uh, a member for 21 months and a silver rocks, pops his neck and then cracks his knuckles and says, today's the day, and this one's gonna be a doozy. Get ready for some highly opinionated super chats for the best ending. Oh no. All right, we're at 7,761. Someone told me I needed to be at like 7,780 something. Dark Fal Fallout says 7,800. Okay, so I'm almost there. I'm 40 away from being able to unlock the best ending. Alt Grendel says with a super chat, oh, you'll find out about the ending soon enough. Dear God, am I that close? Weird Beard says 7,800 total military strength to give all endings. Unless all systems are 100%, you're missing assets. Well, let's check it out. The problem is that sometimes it's just fuel. I could go scour an entire, so an entire solar system, and um, all that's left is fuel. 
Ethan H. says, don't get confused. You'll be playing the extended cut, which was released after unprecedented outrage over the original. It satisfied most people. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully it'll satisfy me. Christopher Lowe says, in my opinion, it's the mechanics behind how the ending is selected that disappointed more than the ending itself. Wow, you guys are getting all cryptic. The mechanics behind the ending. Freddie Simmons says, the maximum um, EMS is 8,600. You're kidding. Really? Cat5, a member for 10 months on a bronze lock, says, yeah, I didn't forget and missed today. Let's see. Okay. Krogan DMZ, that was a plot-based location. Nothing left there. Anos Basin, I'm assuming, again, a plot-based location. It doesn't read 100%. That's where I need to go, the Horsehead Nebula. 100%. 77%. 100%. 100%. Okay, let's go to the Athena Nebula, see what I forgot. Brandon Belfed says the next priority mission should give enough asset points for all possible ending options. Really? So I don't need to search for all of these war assets? Julian Z says, Ox, sorry I'm late. So good to see you on this Mass Monday. I can't believe that today may be the day that you beat Mass Effect. I'm so glad you played this game. So am I. Uh, it's, this one has been a, this game has been a revelation. All right, per, Pernitha, 100% assets discovered. Vernio is at 50. Iliasa is at 50. I bet it's just fuel. All right. Orisoni is at 100. Let's go to Iliasi. Ialesa. Fuel. Ah! Faster than light jump successful. All right, that was fuel. Vernio. Oh, there it is! It's fuel. Run away! Run away! Evasion successful. Yeah! Fuel. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Reapers eluded. And we're out. Well, that's the Athena Nebula, 100% assets recovered, and it was all just fuel. Hundred seventy five thirty seven. Oh, God, hundred sixty six. We only got fifty percent in here. Ah. Fuel. All right, 100% for to sale.
100% for Lucarne. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Crescent Nebula, 100%. All right. The Shrike Abyssal is only 37%. Uh, Xeet Shaw, 100%. Urla Rast, 50%. That's likely fuel. The other two haven't even been explored. More asset acquired, Void Devil's Fighter Wing. Faster than light jump successful. Fuel. Evasion okay. successful. 100% for Kaisel. Let's go to Thal. Gabriel says attacking Cerberus will give you the rest of the assets you need. Okay. Signal confirmed. That's going to be fuel. Looks like they're not coming this far out. So I can scan safely. Hey. War has it acquired Vorcha Labor Team. Awesome. That's 50%, which means this is the last one. Okay, that leaves one more in this system, Erla Rast. And it's likely just fuel. Let's go get it. Oh, oh no, 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 Fuel! Boom! And out we go! Faster Boom! Than light jump All done! Ethan H says, I just looked it up. The Wikia says you only need 7,400 assets to get access to all the endings, not 7,800 or 8,500. I'd post the link if I could. Okay, I'm going to take your word for it. I've gotten 100% on most galaxies. I've got 66 there at the Valhallen threshold. 100%. 100%. What's that? I can't even see anything there. That's not something I can explore. These don't have, that's 50, Kepler Verge. All right. I think we should probably just move forward and attack the elusive man's base. Terry Williams says, should you complete Mass Effect 3 today, you should check out the Mass Effect will continue trailer at the end of the stream. If there is time, of course. All right, maybe we can do that.
Ana Anarius? said Nebula. Looks awesome. Ooh, that is a big bright star. I'm coming for you, elusive man. Ooh, that's a cool ship or station. The MIA or the MLA Red Supergiant Anadius is a minor footnote on the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula, a cold, dying star of about 20 solar masses and 1,500 times Sol's radius. Not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. Eddie's advisory, the size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurements would require active scans, which would reveal the Normandy's presence. Given the stakes, this level of accuracy is not recommended. And then Pavel with more Planescape Torment lore. Ox, Mort is a floating skull, a severed head like Mimir, the god of war. I'm disappointed you didn't get that link. Thank you for that connection. I, I am playing God of War, so I should have made that connection. But thank you, Pavel, for... It's important to get that. Thank you. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready, except for the catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. It's for all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. Let's do it. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. Bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? You first. Huh. Very fair. What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. And everyone's counting on you to do that for us. It must be overwhelming. I'm sure. I've been ready since I saw the Reapers land on Earth. I can't pretend to be surprised. We have one chance. Just one. I'm not losing that. You won't. At any rate, let's not dwell on that tonight. It would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find someplace very far away, 
where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. I need some time alone. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. Let's enjoy ourselves. Oh, come on. He's got to give, uh, give her an I love you back. I love you too, Liara. Show me. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, 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 oh. Jimmy Khan. Oh, I did it. I should have expected this. Why, am I not, why was I surprised? I should not have been surprised. Did we get a bit too much blue booty there? Oh, conveniently placed. Okay. I mean, we're getting a lot of skin, but no deep. Whoa, right up the back there. Hey, where's that hand going, Shepard? That's, that's intense. Ooh, and biotics too? I didn't know you could use biotics that way. All right. Oh no. And he says, "Why, Ox? Why, Lol? Sorry, was that was that too much blue booty cleavage there? A little bit of back cleavage." Demonetized, says Dragon Fan. I hope not. <laughs> What's this? some counseling after this is all over. <clears throat> you can't sleep? We're almost there. Well, hold on, that's a bit... Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. I don't want to get demonetized. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. There will be casualties. I just wonder how many. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. Oh. There we go. Whew. Okay. The He's strike team is energized. We've got our foothold. Fifth fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. All right, Eddie. We trust her by this point, right? I mean, she was made by Cerberus. But we trust her. Okay, we got Eddie. I mean, I want to take Liara at the end, but I kind of need a sniper too. I mean, how can I not do this with my boy without my boy Garrus? We'll bring Liara when we don't have to bring Eddie. We'll bring Garrus for now.
Okay. Albin Forsberg says, I did not know you could use biotics that way, he says, without context, lol. <laughs> That's for me to know, I suppose. I have almost maxed this guy out. We got six points here. How are we going to best spend them? Defense matrix? Or decoy? Um... Decoy explodes on destruction, causing 360 damage across 4 meters, or increase shields by 50, increase duration by 50. Let's do this. Okay. Two points for Garrus, not much I can do. That's five, and that's six. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Sorry? Why are we saying sorry? I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. Right. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. Oh, she's gonna die. She's gonna die, isn't she? They're building up all of this emotional tension. Don't die, Edie! Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Try the upper level, active console, you got it. Rhinoception says, hey Ox, love your vids. Would you ever want to, Would you ever want to make lore videos for Mass Effect or have you already done that? Uh, I have not already done that. I, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm really enjoying the playthrough, the live stream playthrough, I don't know if I would want to do lore videos, though. 
Shepard, we need to find a console and stop servers from venting the hangar. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Oh, they went down fast. Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they figured out what we're doing. They're not stopping us now. What? Wow, I don't even have to remove their shields. My shotgun is enough for them. Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. Impressive. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Big boy. I'm gonna tear him up with my shotgun. <laughs> that was the last Cerberus team in this area. We've broken their front rank. Now we can cause some real damage. Didn't even have to leave my concealment. Alright, central lab. M-37 Falcon? Uh, assault rifle. No. Negative. They rigged a fighter. They have been torn to the facility. Finally stopped, not far from Central. Shut the hostiles down before they reach the city. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. Terry Williams with a super chat on YouTube says, Fun fact, had you not done the Grissom Academy mission in time, Jack would appear here and an enemy as an enemy phantom? Oh, God. I'm glad we did it. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. Don't die! We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route.
intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops quickly. Oh! Just like the Reapers did with the Collectors, turning victims into shock troops. Yes. That's why we would have stumbled upon Jack. Oh god, I'm glad we saved her. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Pretty stark. You okay? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. Well, I don't know. I... Be surprising if it didn't mess you up a little. Regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do? Sit and wait? You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Ooh. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. Manipulated all along. Matt Rowland says, Ox just wanted to say it's a privilege to watch you play this series. The story, the world building, the lore, this is my favorite fictional story. Yeah, thank you, Matt. I'm really enjoying this fictional world as well. The story is top notch, and the characters are what really sell it for me. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Incursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need.
got me a couple of times there. Love this thing. Thump thump for the win. Yay. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence will be completely under control. Whoa! You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. <laughs> I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she, it, can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles, well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Garrick Anderson says, I guess this is the end, huh? Tears start forming. Maybe. MG says, hey, Ox, if Garrison Tally had a child, what would be his name? Tallybration? Uh, Tally... Uh. Also, thanks for the Mass Effect episodes, man. This game is awesome. Thank you, MG. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? <laughs> Julian Z says, Ox, I'm just saying, maybe time to turn up the difficulty? What? I've got it on hard? Don't I have it on hard? Is this supposed to be like a really brutal fight? I died, almost died a couple of times. I think it's a good difficulty for me. What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. <laughs> I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. <laughs> Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zeta Bites? Most of it was Jeff's. Ha! That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. That's great. 
All right, what what difficulty do I have it on? Normal. Ah. I'm going to keep it on normal. Just because I've played through the game on normal and that's what I needed and I don't want to slow us down. Blow to my ego. I thought it was on hard. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This is an Elysium Shepard. I don't need a hero. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Dragonfan209 says the internet is half a zettabyte, if I recall. The whole internet, half a zettabyte? That's a lot of pornography. Goodness. Core overlay. That'd be a generator. Looks like the fifth fleet's coming through. They'll get it done. Weird beard says normal. Psh, weak. Thanks, weird beard. We just kind of went on a lore hunt here. Daniel Holmes, a member for 13 months and a bronze ox, says the internet is a thousand zettabytes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's grown a lot. I mean, what is it they say? The, uh, the information on the internet doubles every two years or something like that? for 
terminals, any other bit of lore. left of it. I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those colonists kidnapped, processed into that, and Cerberus hangs it up like a trophy. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? I think he did. He just cares more about studying it. The dead are only a statistic now. Somehow, that seems even worse. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Garrick Anderson on Facebook with a donation of stars says, get ready to hit that renegade option hard. Really? Why? Okay, hold on a second here. Freddie Simmons on YouTube says, yep, if you atomize the collector base, you still get a piece of the baby. For your information, if you kept the base to, uh, two, if you kept the base two, you'd get the brain. 110 EMS. Keeping the base should give you both. Destroying it should give you nothing. All right, thank you, Freddie. Force Cerberus forces on route. Guess we're getting close. Cerberus Phantoms incoming. <laughs> Difficulty, I guess so. I thought hospitals were ugly to fight through. This is so much worse. At least it's not trying to kill us this time. Malmo says, hey, Ox, have heard about the normal family's new daughter? They named her Abby Normal. Abnormal, he says and clarifies. <laughs> Thank you for that one. The normal family's new daughter, Abby. Thank you, Mal Mal.
Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. Oh You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. Brett Boss says, interesting fact, if you didn't save Jack from the school, she would appear here as a mini boss. Thanks, yeah, that I'm really glad we saved Jack. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No, we're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. Oh, no! I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. What? I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. Oh, God. Are we about to fight an elusive man upgraded with Reaper tech? Any other terminals I missed? <laughs> Freddie Simmons says, The Reaper heart, what you got, is worth 100 EMS. So whether or not you kept the collector base has a negligible difference. Okay, thank you, Freddie. Ominous. Durag says, morning, Ox. Morning, Durag. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. Sanctum. We need to locate the Prothean VI. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah, we all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The catalyst. Yes. Tim R says, name a more iconic duo than Oxhorn and Lore. You can't. Thank you, Tim R. What is the catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. Oh! It's not too late to help me?
or you're in this for yourself. I believe that in his misguided logic, he is trying to help humanity. But the methods that he has used, do we really want him on our side after everything he's done, especially at Sanctuary? <laughs> Chat is uh, divided on this. Paragon, Paragon, Red. Don't choose Red. Renegade, Paragon. Renegade. Well, chat, I've been doing Paragon this entire playthrough. It would be strange for me to go Renegade now. Number one. Number two, the Reapers are the universe's worst threat. I believe the Alliance has the power in place to defeat the Elusive Man after we defeat the Reapers. Is that what this is about? Kurt Nicholson says, Morning Ox, bash those reapers like Oxhorn does bunnies with a hammer. When do I bash bunnies? I don't bash bunnies. Also, watch out for the best renegade interrupt in the entire game coming up. Ooh, all right. Let's paragon this. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the catalyst. With the crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Okay, well, it looks like that didn't really do much. Matt of Orb says, so uh, do you think Cologne Shepard would have been a better adversary compared to Kai Lang as Tim's lackey, the elusive man's lackey? Really interesting question. Shepard v. Shepard? Probably, if the elusive man knew about the clone's existence, which I don't think the elusive man did. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online, security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes, I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. What? Does that... What happens to all the life on the Citadel? So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. 
The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when, the Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. Garrick Anderson on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Power all men crave. It's some fight for tooth, some fight for a tooth and nail, never understanding the struggle to hold it always leads to it slipping through their fingers. Sage wisdom from Garrick Anderson. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was fear that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper-controlled space. What? Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth? Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Michael Bai with a super chat says, Ox, I've missed a good number of streams due to a change in my work schedule. I'm glad I'm able to see what may be your last stream of Mass Effect. I've got many more streams ahead of me. I can't wait to see how you end my favorite game series. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. David with a super chat says, Afternoon, Ox. Computer got a virus recently. It looks like it's terminal. Oh, thanks for that one, David. So good. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Thane, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Shepard, my man! Way to go! 
The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend it. I'll stop them. I'm renegading this now. Renegade for the win. Man of Warp says, so Cerberus' coup failed, but all of a sudden now they take the Citadel and move it to Earth? Writing fail! I'm trying to wrap my head around it myself. Freddy Simmons says, it angers me that we have no choice but for Shepard to walk over and sit in the chair for no apparent reason. I would have found it more satisfying to shoot Kai Lame in the head just as he tries to get up. That would have been satisfying, but that ending was also satisfying. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. There's that. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Rockland F with a, a, a super sticker. Thank you, Rockland. Okay, we got... 15 reputation journal update. Let's see what our war assets look like. We're still, but we're above it. We're at 7906. Alien. Void Devils Fighter Wing. The Void Devils are a recent military creation consisting of Vorcha fighter pilots trained by human and Turian mentors. Though uniformly young by other species' standards, the Devils have laser-like focus on the task of taking out enemy ships. Courageous in the extreme, they are also notably disciplined for Vorcha. During the invasion of their homeworld, the Devils fought hard, but ultimately obeyed the order to retreat while the wing was still intact, leaving them alive, but burning for revenge. And a Vorcha labor team. These socialized Vorcha were a maintenance and calibration crew on a small scientific outpost orbiting uh, Tyrex. Such skilled labor is rare among Vorcha, but not unheard of, since Vorcha, trained by other species for precision tasks, develop finely tuned nerves and senses. Additionally, this crew can heal cellular damage caused by radiation exposure, which is useful since the crucible is being built where no planet's magnetosphere protects it, and extra ve vehicular activity on its hull is often required. Crucible. Reaper Heart. After Commander Shepard destroyed the Collector base, Cerberus spent months picking through irradiated rubble for anything useful. The human proto-reaper the Collectors were building lay in pieces, but its incomplete core survived. The power cell would have been capable of fueling a full-fledged reaper. After studying the device, Cerberus modified it to fuel the elusive man's base. Alliance engineers believe they can use the core similarly to power the Crucible. That gave us a hundred war assets. Nice. So much for Cerberus. All that's left now is Earth. You ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent the war guarding the door. Remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Torian Spectre watching us? Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was gonna be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission gonna be bigger than we thought too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? 
Everyone knows what's gonna happen. Gonna You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's yeah. what you do. That's what we do. We kick ass. And I'll be flying you there in style. That ass gets some kicking. That's right, Joker. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed. All ammunition is loaded. All reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Good on you, Edie. How's your focus, Edie? Any big questions? No. Any small <laughs> questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? Definitely not. Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. Commander. Commander. Walt Grendel says, Chad suggests upgrading uh, weapons and armor now. Yeah, I suppose now would be the time, huh? I think I've already upgraded my weapons. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You're a credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Commander? Brandon Beltfed says, talk, uh, talk to all crew and maybe change uniform. Yeah, let's get out of my uh, casual wear and into something more professional. Kurt Nicholson says Legion slash Jack appear as mini bosses in the Cerberus headquarters if you sold Legion to them in Mass Effect 2 and didn't save Versum Academy in time. Thank you, Kirk. Or Kurt. Still nothing in this room. Cerberus is well and truly gone. I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good. Felt... right, you know? Julian Z says, Ox, I can't believe we are finally here. Can you believe this whole series started with Mass Effect? I don't know, I played Andromeda and it kind of sucked. <laughs> That's how it started, isn't it? Yeah, I did play Andromeda and it kind of sucked, but here we are. Never thought I'd see the end of Cerberus. Good riddance. We did some good over there. Survivor from the old era says, just want to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you, Survivor. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard, and good luck. You've come a long way since those days under- Why Captain saying Anderson. goodbye? It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard, and good luck. Oh. Oh, we were just- uh, oh! Hey! Uh, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye, and, well... Uh, I, I think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, you, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. Of course, right. I mean... So... So... Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. <laughs> what do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. Oh. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> yes. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wonder about. Good words, Garrus. <clears throat> MG says, Talibration came true, lol. Yes, it did. <laughs> He's like, and I'm so into that. Yes, you are, Garrus. Yes, you are. Mikkel says, uh, hello, I'm a new viewer. I really like your lore videos. Goodbye for now. Well, thank Excellent you, Mikkel. Excellent Commander. The information network <laughs> terminal has been updated. Email from Captain A. Reynolds to Miranda Lawson. Ms. Lawson, the Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance. With the information you've been sending us on Cerberus, we've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up for our supply convoys. We'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you've procured a Class F private fighter and joined up with former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus bases were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives of no known uh, affiliation. The Alliance cannot officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. Good luck, Miss Lawson. Good on you, Miss Lawson. How are you doing, Liara? Fine. I'm more worried about you than I am me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just tell me when you're ready to go. The elusive man thinks he's ready for us. Let's not keep him waiting. We can do this, Shepard. Man of Warp says, mash that interact button over Tally for a really funny response. Oh, okay. Anise uh, says, thanks for the streams. I've been watching these since the start. Much easier to see you play and go through the lore than find, try to find time to play myself. Although the blue booty is missing. Yeah, you'll have to do your own replay for that. Rockland F says, I'd get the toothbrush. That Mass Effect prop would you get? Oh yeah, I would totally get a toothbrush. Ezo toothbrush. All right, we've got research data from Pragya. Data on experimental gene therapies was buried in the ruins of the Pragya research facility. While most gene therapy takes years to show results, Pragya scientists discovered a way to shorten the process. Two intact sample vials have been recovered from the facility. The only limiting factor is that no more than one such therapy can be applied per 10-month period without causing serious nerve damage to the recipient. Okay, power cooldown bonus or power damage bonus. Let's go damage. All right, you want me to spam poor Tali? Matt Roland says, Ox, just reflect in what Shepard has done. Cured the Genophage, destroyed Cerberus, Geth Peace, united the galaxy, etc. And of course, kept those fish alive. Those fish were important. Kill us alive, Shepard. Kill us alive, Shepard. Kill us alive, Shepard. So who needs their ass kicked now? All right. On to the next deck. Kid Shepard, Beckenstein. It was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'm a colony kid, Shepard. Beckenstein. 
was right next door to the Citadel. Was? So it got destroyed when the Citadel moved? gonna beat them yeah okay so I thought the conversation was over because of that awkward pause but apparently she had more to say she must have been really upset I am prepared for whatever lies ahead commander the Reapers have haunted the galaxy long enough it is time to end the nightmare the last Prothean awaits your command. There was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. There was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. See if anyone's downstairs. is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give them hell, sir. Good luck with the assault. Wish I was joining you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Fine. Then I wish I could shoot better. Then I wish I was joining you. <laughs> Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Commander, it's been such an honor to be a part of the team. Likewise, Gabby. Good luck, and be careful, okay? Yes, ma'am. Everyone is saying their goodbyes! Checking our parts inventory. Sir. That's it? Cortez. I'm surprised. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Lang must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm gonna make those Reapers pay. For everything they've done. All right. Shield regeneration, power recharge. I think I'm pretty pleased with what I had chosen. Ammo capacity over weapon damage. <clears throat> weapon upgrades. <clears throat> uh, well. <laughs> We've got a lot. I've already upgraded all the weapons I use. Got a lot of money to spend.
There, I've spent half my money. And I've barely gotten through all of them. <laughs> Survivor from the old area says, just wanted to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you. Buy N7 gear, says uh, Hunter. Oh, I should have come here first. Metagel capacity, that was under Serta. Yeah, Casa. Oh my gosh, all these weapons. Uh, Oh gosh, lots of stuff. Okay. Think I got all the upgrades. No. All the mods. Okay. Oh, more mods. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, am I unlocking more mods by buying other mods? And that's it. Yep. Okay. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Normal is the best revenge from Diana Allers. Commander, I don't know if you're aware of how much you mean to people, but I am. The things I see in Battlespace's mailbox could make a geth grow tear ducts. Page after page of people asking you to go save their mother's planet or the homeworld they outgrew or the mining colony they sank their fortunes into. They don't know that you can't do it all. They just know Commander Shepard beat a Reaper once and can do it again. I know how they feel. When I heard about Beckenstein, it was like all the nerves in my body were cut. But I need to believe that this isn't the end. I need to believe that you're going to destroy the Reapers and I'm going to film it as it happens. And when the fight is over and my signal goes out on tight beam, people are going to come together from all over the galaxy. They're going to watch from their couches and they'll celebrate. And one day, they'll laugh again. The laughing part is important. 
I want you to make it all normal again, Shepard, because that's the best revenge I can think of. Diana. P.S. If I end up making it out of this, but you don't, I'll make sure you get a hero's funeral and Beckenstein's wake and, and a Beckenstein wake. That's like an Irish wake, but not as sober and reserved. <clears throat> wow. Not as sober and reserved as an Irish one? Okay. Right. Sarvis the Dro says, possibly the last Mass Effect Monday, at least until Mass Effect 4 rolls around, I think it would be fitting to take Javik to Earth to fight the Reapers. Really? Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Dr. Stino says, Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Commander? We shall let them Admiral. slip. Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. MG says, fly for ruin and for the galaxy's the ending. Are reporting in, sir. Death! 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 Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. Never! We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our hey, actions hey, hey. in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Uh-oh. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to this, but timing will be critical. Whoa. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Brandon Beltfed says, fix bayonets, charge! Space laser noises obliterating your forces. And Durag says, today is a good day to die, yeah! 
Garrick Anderson says, We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We are gonna live. We're gonna survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Was that an Independence Day quote? Oh man, you guys are pulling them all out, aren't you? Ethan H. says, just want to reiterate that when the time comes, chat's going to go nuclear about telling you what to do. There isn't a consensus among the fan base, so pleasing everyone will be impossible. Just go with what feels right. If it's that controversial, I doubt anything will feel right, but I'll try to make the best choice I can. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Chad is saying I should take Javik, Javik with me. But it feels wrong not taking Liara and Garrus. Pretty pleased with my load out here. mod. I think I like it. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleet's reporting. Quarian fleet's accounted for and ready. Get fleet reporting. All fleet's reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Sean McElroy says you may want to make a save just before your end choice. That way you can check out all of the endings. You'll know when. Thank you, Sean. Chris Nicholson says, rise up, sons of the horn. Blood and glory await us, the horn players. Loktar Ogar for the horn. Thank you, Kurt. Men of war. This is it, everyone. Be ready on my signal. Fire. Yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, my God. Man of Warp says, 
quite literally a Hail Mary pass play. On my command, engage the Reaper forces. Fleets open up Watch running that. lanes. Fighters on me. Infantry and fighting as receivers and the prisoner is the football. Looks like it. Ryder Wheeler says Captain Anderson has the same voice actor as Decker from Full Out 1. None other than Keith David. That's right. I forgot. I didn't make that connection, but you're right. Ryan Jackson yeah. says, Hang Red on. 5, standing by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Truly epic, oh my god. Seven more, year, more seven years. Shepard. Yes, Joker. Good luck. You too, Joker. Don't crush his hand. There you go. <laughs> I hope that's not goodbye. Don't let it be goodbye, Joker. Gotta love Joker. Advanced teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell? Take a look for yourself. This is London? I'm sorry, Shepard. I know how you must feel. I barely even recognize it. I see Big Ben. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! Ooh. Who was in that one? Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. How do we do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Oh, God. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you, Shepard. Now, go, go! Did we survive? God!
Panic on the streets of London. Sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you. There's the shuttle. Keep an eye out for their heavy weapons. out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Hey! Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. 
But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. Kurt says that if we didn't help Cortez find closure, he actually dies when the shuttle crashes. I'm glad we did. Dean Grace says, you're fighting in my capital, by the way, lol. <laughs> lol, indeed. Freddie Simmons with a very generous super chat says, if you ever wondered why heavy weapons were relegated to rare single-use weapons in Mass Effect 3, when we could use them as often as we had power cells in Mass Effect 2, here's your answer. Makes you wonder why the Alliance isn't manufacturing canes nonstop. Makes you wonder why the Alliance isn't... Oh, then he's a sure, look, it took out only one of the smaller Reapers, but it makes you wonder two or three shots wouldn't probably kill one of the larger ones makes you wonder indeed but hey works for the gameplay i suppose man of war says had you not helped cortez with his grief he would have died and if ashley was in your squad at the time she'd have screamed like she was passing a kidney stone while yikes that's intense that's a great way to describe it man of war okay well i'm glad she wasn't in our uh, party at that time and i'm glad cortez survived uh, Garrick Anderson says, time to say goodbye. Lol seems like an appropriate song to play during this. Seems so indeed. Then he says, we will not cook. The, oh, that, no, I, those were from uh, 20 minutes ago that I just read already. Thank you, Garrick Anderson. Man of Warb says, had you chosen Morinth, Morinth instead of Samara, you'd have fought her as a named Banshee while waiting for the shuttle. Wow. Everyone came back, would have come back, it looks like. It must have been brutal here. Cut off from the rest of the Alliance? It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started, and Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. And where do we land? <laughs> Stealthy! Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Mm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. 
And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. Dean Grace says that I missed a super chat of his. Sorry about that, Dean Grace. I was a little preoccupied. <laughs> Let's see if I can find that. Oh, he says, you're fighting in my capital, by the way, lol. I, I saw that. Oh, he says, the series has been a joy to watch. Thanks, dude. Oh, you're welcome, Dean Grace. All right, I think I caught up with all of them. Garrick says, um, since this takes place in London, it feels like we should be hearing Winston Churchill's We Shall Fight speech. We shall fight them in front of Big Ben. We shall fight them by the rivers. We shall fight them. Thank you, Winston. Thank you, Garrick. Matt Rowland says, Ox, be sure to talk to your squad here. This is your final chance. Will do. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Kurt Nicholson says, be sure to explore this area and talk to everyone and keep an eye out for the comm officer. Talk to him too to get lots of bonus dialogue. All right, I'll do my best to talk to everyone before moving on. James! Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... I know it's hard to see, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push, one last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. <laughs> Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey, good luck out there, loco. Just a good man, but a terrific soldier. Right. What did they find? Did Echo Team have a recommendation? Affirmative. Advise delaying next wave of hammer. Damn. We'll get murdered out there. We don't have a choice. Negative on that delay. We'll advise command of the situation, but hammer proceeds as planned. Over. Acknowledged. Michael Y says, where was Gondor when the Reapers invaded Earth? Oh my god. Wait. Repeat your last. Say again. Kensington reports a hundred percent killed in action. All of them? About transmission SOS reported they were being overrun by enemy forces. No word since. All personnel presumed dead. Shit. Thompson and Dewhurst were posted there. Maybe they got out. We don't know for sure. When advised that more intel becomes available. Where's Doctor Who when you need him? Lone Wolf Airsoft says, We will fight them in the atmosphere. We will fight them in the landing zones. We will fight them from street to street, building to building, but we shall never surrender. 
Thank you, Lone Wolf, channeling his inner Winston Churchill there. Shepard? How are you holding up? Restless. Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. I've lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost as many times as you saved me, hero man. It always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. And a I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier. A Spectre. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Commander. Okay. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Oh, cool. Wow. Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now. It gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Good man, Zaid. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Dean Grace says, in the UK, don't catch these often, but wish I could. I'm glad you're able to catch the ones you can, my friend. Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I can play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't, it helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Blood of uh, Blood Wolf 2A2 says, uh, you know what they say, Ox, war. War never changes. Have a good Mass Effect Monday. Thank you. War never changes. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? Depends on whether you got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're away south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Wouldn't have it any other way, Jack. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. It's past time I joined your battle. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Oh dear. <laughs> Farewell. Can't let this Justicar down. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. <laughs> Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. 
Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay, Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. Got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. <sighs> Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this really is goodbye. But what about Rex? I want to say goodbye to Rex. I came from. General notice all firehouses, people. We're using the trucks as decoys now. There's no way we can handle the damage being done. And since they're apparently trying to take us out, we might as well be of what use we can be. Volunteers only. Coordinate with evac services. God go with you. Central dispatch. Is that it? I think that's it. Just found Ashley and uh, James down here. get over there. Wasn't I just there?
right, I'm missing something. Use the ramp box. The rubble ramp. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. There it is. I didn't realize it was a rubble ramp. Of course, I should have realized it. There, okay. Need a new cigar. Coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Primarch Victus. I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see you world. Looks as bad as ours. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? <laughs> huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No. I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then, we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. <laughs> Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Julian Z says, Ox, don't you have a shirt about rubble ramps? I do have a shirt about rubble ramps. I should have seen it. Casualties. They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? 
This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. <laughs> we'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Garrick Anderson says, There's a mod for Mass Effect that brings back all the cut content. Think you might do a special video about that? Uh, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. We'll see. Show me. Close your eyes. to be done okay you got it not sure what that was but it was great what's his condition okay and I'll try to stay calm I'll talk you through it you're his only hope right now the most important thing is to stop the bleeding do you have any towels or bandages? No, nothing. Always sitting under a bombed out highway. Uh, then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and. Wait, something's coming our way. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. He passes by. You need to tear off your sleeve into strips. You're going to make a tourniquet. that just above his knee to cut off the blood flow. Tie it off in a knot. I'm trying. Okay. Around his knee. I can't get it tight enough. There's so much blood. Try it again. Pull tighter. starts again, let me know. You're going to make it. Right. Okay. Thank you. But uh, I don't think we'll survive another night of this. Survivor from the old era says, just want to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you, Survivor. Sammy, where are you? Can't find you. Message me back, please. People go into that place and come out not the same. Not human anymore. Can hear the voices crawling inside the back of my skull, whispering. They won't stop. Why won't it stop until I go where the others went, get turned into one of those things? Oh God, please make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Won't listen to the voices, won't go in there, can make it stop. Know what to do. Doctor? Yes, I'm here. Do you feel the pulse? No. He's gone. You did everything you could. We'll get you out of there soon. I don't think so. One of the big reapers is coming our way. Well, then run. Get out of there. That doesn't work. They always catch you. And then they turn you into those... things. You 
You have to try. Go! Yeah. I've got the corporal's gun here. I'm going to end it before they find me. End it? You may... No, 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 don't! Goodbye, Doctor. Wait, no! Are you still there? Hello? Are you there? Damn it. Oh, God! And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Krogan! And today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Yeah, Rex! This is a Tolarian boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready and fine. Get to it. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans. But for all life, every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar, with Dr. Desuni. She suggests journeys with the Prothean. You do that? I will need a job. There will be no Reapers left to kill. Thank you, Commander for letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. It has been a privilege. Man of Warb says, had you sabotaged the Genophage and killed Rex in this game, Kirahi would have been there to give quite the epic speech. Oh, I'm a little sad I missed out on Kirahi's speech, but Rex, I love Rex. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Ah! Oh, and Bakara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. I imagine there are benefits. I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. I guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. Oh, jeez. That's okay. Your chunk has got room to spare, and a guard dog named Kalros. We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. Thanks for that, I guess, Rex. Somebody go see if the Quarians have anything to eat. All that Turian food gave me the runs. Typical Rex. What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside a big bed, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Kurt Nicholson says, if you convince Javik to look back at his memory I shard, know, 
and reopen his wounds, he resolves to end his life after the battle. A Reaper is a whole other matter. We have to make do with what we've got, Major. Get their crews prepped and moving. Yes, sir. Thank you for that one, Kurt. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rhinoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Tally Zoravas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Man of Warb says, had you not interrupted the fight between him and Liara, Javik would have gone to rule the Hanar. <laughs> what? Wow. Javik has made some personal growth in this game. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Okay. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. All right, I think that's everyone talked to. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. Here we go! We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, 
You two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. There's the team. Comrades or soldiers? This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. Victory or death, or? The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together. And together, we will defeat them. Yeah! Where was the applause? All right, here we go. I'm going with Garrus and Liara. Think I'm good there. And with that, I'm all out of time. I'm not gonna do that to you, sorry. I just couldn't help myself. All right, we're gonna keep doing this. <laughs> I should probably save. Oh, I can't.
try to clear the building. And my thump thump! <laughs> Getting slaughtered out here, Commander! Uh, Mom, Dad, I can't reach you guys. I tried the office and your personal comms. No one's answering. And the news was saying that the bombs are getting worse. And then the power went off. Look, I know I'm supposed to stay put, but I can't reach anyone. And I'm getting really worried about the twins. I'm going to head off to the school to pick them up, okay? I'll bring any, uh, any other of the kids I find, too. You can yell at me when we meet up at the emergency shelters. Love, K. We've got corpses and beds.
Oh, okay, well. Cleared him out. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to go out we're supposed to go out there. See if there's any more lore. Any more loot. No. Okay. everything at us. Okay, K Change the Punk says, regardless of how your ending run or turns, thank you for letting us go on this journey together in one of my favorite series. I hope you're excited for the next Mass Effect 4 eventually. I am excited. Alright, we need to get to the Thanix missile battery. And that's over the barricade. Security memo. They're targeting shelters, evacuation shuttles, emergency services, power centers, people. It's not about destroying property as much as it's about destroying the population. Reminds me of a certain uh, aggressor right now in the world. We've got to modify standard evac plans. We can't rely on conventional procedures. We'll just get more people killed. Stay in small groups. Get survivors out of the city. Spread people out as much as possible. Pass the word, people.
But the company's been wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. Launch your controls. We'll see. Hammer, this is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard it, people. Get ready. There they are! You heard her. Back to the truck, people. Missile guidance enhanced. Firing. Countering interference. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer's being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. Oh, great! We're our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold Just the on. three of us! Goddess, more are coming. Hold on, everyone. We can do this. We're about to find out. Here they come.
Roger that, Edie. Banshees, God. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. does looks impressive Here on in, it's a straight shot to the deal. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. I'm honored to be part of your team. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Oh! Shit. Of course. Freddie Simmons says Hackett said on the Normandy that we can't defeat the Reapers conventionally, but time and time again, Shepard and our forces prove that they can. Well, they use conventional means to do unconventional things. But all right, I see your point. We're running! Dear oh. God! Oh! 
Oh no! Obliterated! Argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens, everything to me, Liara. Always will. I. I. Go! Oh my God! They're alive, I think! I hope! Yeah. I'm amazed the Normandy could do an evac at this moment. Shepard's alive. Somehow. Can he not die? Get to the beam. Time. <gasps> Come on, Shepard! Man of Warp says common fan nickname for the final enemies were Marauder Shields and Three Husketeers. And fan theory is that Marauder Shields was Nihilus the Death Spectre. <laughs> Freddie Simmons says might consider it of Harbinger to not blast the Normandy. Yeah, very considerate of Harbinger to leave that one alone. Naked Snake says, been watching you for three years now, and all I have to say is thank you for helping me go through my mother, my mother's cancer and death. Your videos bring me so much happiness, and the time I watch with my mom. Love you, bro. Well, thank you for that one, Naked Snake. Sorry to hear about your loss, but I'm glad that you're here for, for the videos now. Jackalwise says, the problem isn't that they can't kill a reaper, it's how much it costs in lives and resources to kill or injure just one. They would die out before winning. They're overwhelming and far more advanced. 
Matt Siski says, great series said it's over, hoping for Halo next. Thank you, Matt Siski. Oh, you did it. This is the Admiral. We've got reports that someone made it to the Citadel. We need to give them time to get those arms open. All fleets converge on the Crucible. Protect it at all costs. Ryan Jackson says his name was Marauder Shields. Oh my god. Is this everyone that was on the Citadel? Holy cow. How on earth did Shepard survive that? Shepard. Shepard. What an epic Anderson. entry. You up here too? moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. <clears throat> Makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Tim R says save! And the chat spams save, 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 but I have no option to save. When I have an option, I will. Freddie Simmons says, why can't Shepard use Metagel? Where did he get the Carnifex pistol? What happened to the pistol he had? All great questions. Whoa. Anderson? Still can't save. I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we're talking about. Anderson? Anderson? Damn it. Elusive man? No, Anderson. Anderson? Anderson. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, 
and of you, if necessary. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. I've done a Paragon playthrough this entire time. I'm gonna keep it up. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Uh, uh, only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit! We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do! No! I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is ah. telling me what to do! Then why Listen are you angry? Yourself. You're indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Freddie Simmons says, The scene with the elusive man puppeteering Shepard always bothered me. No way for Shepard to keep himself from mortally wounding Anderson. Sadly, taking control away from the player is a running theme in Mass Effect 3. Man of Warb says, Initial plans were for you to fight an overgrown elusive man. But then the devs figured that the elusive man's greatest weapon is his mind which is why they put in a difficult Paragon Renegade check instead. Very interesting. Because of you, humanity is already undone. 
That's not true! They have the Citadel. They've got us fighting each other, instead of fighting them. I just need to... You've done exactly what the Reapers wanted. If you're still doing it, because they control you. I... They're too strong. You're stronger. Don't let them win. Break their hold. Don't let them control you. I tried, Shepard. Wow. Echoes of Mass Effect 1 and Saren. Don't die. Oh, come on, don't die. You've got retirement. The love of your life. Commander? And a nice apartment. We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Come on. Are they gonna do this to us, really? This is what they're gonna do to us? Commander! Oh? What's this? happening now it's like a flower opening up is 
galaxy in space? Wake up. Sure, kid. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No. The Citadel is part of me. What? I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. What? Kurt Nicholson says don't let chat solution. bully you. Choose what? what you want. Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. Change the Punk says, you are talking to the AI Leviathans created. I see that. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well. They've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. 
Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. The White Wolf says, Fun fact, the Catalyst is actually the child and male shepherd's voice in the right ear channel, and the child and female shepherd's voice in the left. Interesting. Freddie Simmons says one of the biggest bones of contention with the ending is we have no way to properly argue with the catalyst. It's no longer the player's story. Otherwise, we could easily make an effective case. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. Freddy Simmons says, after all, we resolved the conflict with the Geth and the Quarians. We resolved that conflict. you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines, programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. 
but I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. Freddie Simmons says installing the interferometric array into the Crucible systems results in a real-time map of the entire galaxy, including the position of each and every Reaper in the Milky Way. Basically, the Crucible knows exactly where all of the Reapers are, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to target them and only them. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved. But your thoughts, and even your memories, will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Hmm. There is another solution. A third! Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. And still I can't save. Pyro says, uh, this is like deciding who flips the switch when destroy destroying the Institute. Moor Gerson Grobo says, Ox, there are four endings. Man of Orb says they copied Deus Ex's concept of three endings in the end. Ethan H says the amount of endings you have to choose from is based off of total assets. You start with just destroy, then control. Synthesis requires the most assets. Still a decisive choice even then, though. Dragonfan says destroying will kill Geth and Edie. Their souls die even if they can be rebuilt. Control proves the elusive man was right. Doing nothing, nothing is even worse than destroying. By process of elimination, synthesis is the best of the endings, but it's your choice. Brandon Belfed says, I was there 3,000 years ago. Isildur, cast it into the fire, destroy it. Just some context. They're really giving us a chance to think about it, aren't they? Just 
destruction, control, synthesis. Chad is freaking out. <laughs> I'll get to your super chats. I will, but I want to experience this. I was going to destroy it. That's what I was going to do. I didn't I didn't think that it would take control of my character and push me into the beam like that. I thought I could get right up to it and then decide, but it it kind of grabbed me. Of the three options, synthesis is my second favorite. But I still wanted to destroy them. The problem with the synthesis one is it feels like I'm taking away their free will. All these games are always talking about order and chaos, as if chaos is bad. Every villain in every game is trying to bring order to chaos. And I understand civilizations need order, some semblance of order. But no one mind should dictate what that order is over entire swaths of people. A little bit of chaos in the universe is okay.
Is this some far-flung future that we're getting to see? The meld between organics and synthesis? Or the meld between organics and um, AI, this synthesis? <laughs> Is that why the leaves had circuitry? <laughs> <laughs> Joker, buddy, I'm sorry to have disappointed you. Oh no, but even he, even he has circuitry. Oh man, I love how this is ending on Joker. Joker and Edie, Adam and Eve. Oh, this is kind of sweet actually. Oh, look at that. They've got their Garden of Eden. This is really sweet. They pulled me forward. I just wanted to blast it. I am alive. All of us, synthetic and organic, have been changed. The war is over, and the Reapers are helping to rebuild. Where once they threatened us with extinction, they now bring us the collective knowledge of the cultures that came before. As a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. It's like organics have become geth. There's now this hive mind. Which of course brings order and peace. But where's the individuality? You can't have free will and individuality without some people being free to make bad decisions, without some people being free to bring chaos. Taking our first steps into a new and wonderful future, where organics and synthetics can coexist peacefully. With peace across the galaxy and with unlimited access to knowledge, Oh, baby Krogan! Oh. Yay, the genophage is cured. To recover the greatness that was lost. And surpass it. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars as the line between synthetic and organic disappears, we may transcend mortality itself to reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this chance for a new life did not come without cost. David Anderson.
no matter how far we advance, we will remember the sacrifices of those who made it possible. And we will remember Shepard. Because of him, I am alive, and I am not alone. Alright, is there something to wait for after the credits, or can I try to load an autosave to see if I can see the other endings? Again, sorry that I haven't gotten to your super chats. I was kind of immersed. I didn't want to speak over the, um, the ending there. But quick, in the chat, tell me if I can uh, Alt-F4 alt this to reload another autosave. Load now. There is a post credit scene. Ah, oh, crap. No secret ending, all right. We're gonna try this. All right, let, let me see if I can get to your super chats. I might have missed some. Matt Roland, so yeah, the, I can't scroll all the way back. Matt Roland says, Ox, you had to walk to the right side to choose destroy. I was trying to type a super chat to say this, but you just kept walking forward. You have to remember there's a bit of a lag between when you type and when I see it, about 30 seconds or so. So even if you had, Change the Punk says, Ox, you did everything right. If you want to destroy, reload, shoot the red thing to the right. There's a secret cliffhanger cutscene on destroy. Cat5 says, would have had to take the road to the right. All right. I guess they didn't make that clear enough. Either that or I didn't understand it. Sigurd with a super tip. Thank you, Sigurd. Deathica says, not loss of free will. Organics and synthetics just enhanced to understand what the other beings lacked before. Destruction would have killed Edie and the Geth. I realize that. But my problem is that understanding does not necessarily mean acceptance. I think that the game, if, if that's true, I think the game is presuming that people who are against synthetic life just didn't understand them. I think there are people who understood synthetic life and still chose to hate them, right? So maybe that's just me not liking that ending, not vibing with that ending. Freddie Simmons says rewriting the DNA of each and every being in the galaxy is wrong. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. And I find it horrifying that it's touted as the best ending. Yeah, just, just rewriting everybody's DNA, that's like a very personal invasion of every creature that exists right now. I don't like that. Man of Warb says, we are the synthesized. We will add your uniqueness to our own. Resistance is futile. Tim R says, reload and destroy. I will try that in a bit. Daddy of One says, happy Mass Effect Monday. Here's my light fee. Thank you, Daddy of One. Willem D Delport says, an autosave is created after the scene with the catalyst, but will be overridden after the credits, so you have to go into the saves folder and back it up if you want to do all three endings. Hopefully I didn't lose it. We'll try it in just a second. Julian Z says, Ox destruction was a different path. There were three paths in front of you. You forward was synthesis. Destruction was to your left or right. We'll go back and retry. Jackalwise says, with synthesis, you're merging organic life with synthetic and synthetic life with organic understanding. You're not taking away free will. But the my problem is that if somehow the synthetic, the, the synthesis ending, by merging organic and uh, AI life, makes peace, 
that doesn't vibe with me. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. The only way that that magically creates peace in the universe is if we take away an element of free will. Because there will always be people and always cultures and always nations and maybe even entire alien races that won't accept another one for whatever reason. Just by somehow magically having an understanding that AI synthetic life is, you know, it should exist on its own, that doesn't take away somebody's free will to actively choose to hate that group of people unless it also takes away free will which I think is what happened uh, the white wolf says watch the destroy ending next I'll try to get it up there Ethan H says Buzz Aldrin cameo in the after credits what really then Terry Williams says you're misunderstanding synthesis there is no hive mind people are still individuals that just removes the conflict between organics and th synthetics by making them the same First of all, making them the same takes away diversity. And diversity is like a huge point of this entire franchise. All of these alien races, all of these different perspectives make up the beauty of this universe. Taking away that, makes it, making everything the same, suddenly the universe loses its flavor, first of all. But if people can still act as individuals, they should still be able to choose to hate. Which, obviously, people are bad to do that. But if you take that ability away from people, then there is lack of free will, right? Kurt Nicholson says, Ox, this has been a beautiful ride. And that line of Edie, I'm alive, always gets me sobbing. I know that was really well done. Synth is what I consider to be the best ending. I'll be heading out, but this has been a great to watch. You're always entertaining. Thank you, Kurt. Phoenix says, hey, Ox, how are you? I'm doing well. We're exploring the endings to Mass Effect 3. Julian Z says, Ox, the after credit scene is in all of the endings. Good. So I'll be able to see it no matter which ending I choose. Survivor from the old era says, just want to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you, Survivor from the old era. Then Thomas McCormick says, now Joker's ailments are healed and he can have little organosynth kids with Edie Lamau. Free will is, pre is preserved. Everyone has evolved for the better. I detect a little a bit of... Um, um, sarcasm in that. Freddie Simmons says, if synthesis is needed, his D his DNA, he could probably have gotten away with spitting into the beam. I mean, yeah. Instead of sacrificing himself, maybe. Murgos and Grobo says the fourth ending is to let the cycle continue. It can be done through dialogue or shooting the AI. All right. Let's... I don't know if I have time to do all the endings. I'm already over time. I at least want to try to see what the destruction ending looks like if I can load the appropriate autosave. Let's see what happens. I control alt deleted during the credits. Let's see if that saved or if, if that prevented the game from creating an autosave that overwrote the one that it made just before the end. All right, cross your fingers here. So how do I destroy it? I gotta go to the right or the left? Why is the game not telling me this? Can't I just shoot it? Which one is destroy? Stefano says synthesis is my preferred choice. However, in my playthrough, I first shot the star child. You could shoot the star child? Maybe we'll try that later. Ash Malachi says, Ox, there are several endings. Destroy with variations. Control and synthetic with variations in the refuse ending. Right, says chat. All right, let's go right. I'm going to destroy these doggone reapers or whatever they're called. Wish I could sprint, but now I'm just hobbling along. Yeah, see, I thought I had to destroy the beam. That's what I was doing with my pistol rings, but apparently that was wrong. Oh, why can't I hobble faster? Is this it? Is this what I destroy? Right size says Brandon belt fed. Thank you.
by eating. Harvest the Drow says, I think the best ending is control. Only for the mental image of a skyscraper-sized reaper showing up for a date with Shepard's love interest. <laughs> that is quite an image. The White Wolf says, notice Shepard's limp goes away on destroy. Cortez? Freddie Simmons says the refusal ending, shooting the Brattleist, has a nice scene with Liara that we would never otherwise see. falls apart. Dragon fan says, destroy makes your choice to save the Geth pointless. You might as well have killed Legion before he upgraded the Geth. It also makes your efforts to pair up Joker and ED wasteful. He'll resent you. I mean, he won't. We're not going to have an opportunity to see him again. We'll see. Does that kill Shepard? I don't know. We'll see if Shepard dies. Man of Warp says, accepting the Reaper's synthesis blinds you to alternatives, such as Ryder combined with Sam and Mass Effect Andromeda. circuitry in the leaves. <laughs> Is this another Garden of Eden scene with uh, Joker and Edie? Probably not Edie. Oh, what happens here? They crash landed.
Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child, every civilization, on every world. Look at him. <laughs> He's just relaxing. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. It's Admiral Hackett. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. Oh, wow, it is busted. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Hey, there it is. It's back. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. Freddie Simmons says before the extended cut, every ending showed all of the relays exploding, but without killing anyone. It's like Bioware forgot about the events of Mass Effect 2's Arrival DLC, lol. No ED. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. White Wolf says, notice how your lover didn't put up the plaque? Ooh, interesting. Michael Y says, saving the Geth and the ED Joker relationship are not pointless. It gives the destroyed decision more weight. Sacrifice is good storytelling. Is that Commander Shepard? What? Oh, and he moves? Oh, wow. Right, um. Hope you guys don't have any lunch plans. I kind of want to see the other endings. So, Chad is saying there is a post credits sequence, but that I can get it with every ending. So, let's explore the other endings and then we'll get the post credits sequence. How about that?
Jeremy says, might need a special bonus stream. This is my special bonus stream. I'm already 20 minutes over my allotted time, but you know what? My lore video can wait. We've been doing this for 45 weeks. I want to see all the endings. It's only fair that we see what could have possibly happened. Sean says, do control last, in my opinion. All right. Change the Punk says, Shepard lives. Yeah. Right. Chad says, I get a fourth ending if I shoot the kid. So be it. Whoa! The cycle continues. That was an angry voice. So be it. What is this? If you're hearing this, then there is still hope. Hope that you can avoid the same mistakes we made. Uh-oh. <laughs> we fought the Reapers, but we failed to stop them. Oh, no! <laughs> we did everything we could. We built the Crucible, but it didn't work. We fought as a united galaxy, but it wasn't enough. I only hope the information in this capsule is enough to help you before it's too late. Change the Punk says, Shepard lives. My name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. Herein lies the recounting of our war with the Reapers. Freddie Simmons says, I find it a little bit insulting that they had to club us over the head with the dog tags that have the N7 on them. Never mind that that's not what his dog tags look like. And that's it. That's the secret ending. <laughs> Well, I think we can say that that clearly is the worst ending. All right, let's do this one more time. Three endings down, one to go. The control ending, let's see what that's all about. Ethan H says, uh, this ending was only added in the extended cut as a troll because people said in their reviews of the original that they wanted to shoot the kid. <laughs> is that it? Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, they got Liara's voice actress back to, um, to record that. All right. Yeah, I, I see that there is a post credit scene. After we finish the control ending, we'll go through the credits and see the post credit scene. All right. Shoot the kid. He says, so be it. And then the Reavers just destroy everything. Brandon Belfet says, not going to lie, I'm partial to something known as the quote-unquote indoctrination theory, and it colors my preference for the destroy ending. That and Shepard's gasp for air at the end there. Yeah, I did like that. Yeah, those two other paths just rise. I suppose that should have been enough clue that those were different options. Right, to the left. Time to control the Reapers, even though uh, we kind of destroyed the elusive man for doing that very thing. Julian Z says, Ox, some people argue because of what we see in Mass Effect will continue. Trailer that the destroy ending is canon. You should watch the trailer. All right. Now for the hobble up here to the control ending. Very dramatic. Kettle drums.
Matt Rowland says the elusive men wanted control, was indoctrinated. Saren wanted synthesis, was indoctrinated. Something to consider. Julian Z says, I think the trailer is on the BioWare YouTube. I'll check it out. Bian Bribe, or Bian Ibe says, the elusive man wanted control, but you get an all-powerful AI. Saren wanted synthesis, but you change all life without consent. Destroy, you kill murderous AI. Sigmund Revna with a super tip. Thank you so much, Sigmund, or Sigurd. All fleets, the Crucible is armed. Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. We must leave the system. Shepard actually take control? HD Shelton says, I really like your Fallout content, thanks. Thank you, HD Shelton. Freddie Simmons says, my head cannon is Shepard chooses control and commands the Reapers to fly into a star. I mean, I might do the same thing if I controlled all the Reapers, but let's see what Shepard does. Again, it crash lands. 
smoke billowing out of the Normandy. Oh, wait. Man of Warp says, now that you control the Reapers, can anyone curtail you if you make bad decisions from here on out? Probably not. Oh, there's Edie. <laughs> Who voices over it? It's her. Understand. And only now do I understand the full extent of his sacrifice. Through his death, I was created. Through my birth, his thoughts were freed. They guide me now. Give me reason. Direction. Just as he gave direction to the ones who followed him. The ones who helped him achieve his purpose. Now, my purpose. Roman Adams says, to defend synthesis, I think it argues for lasting peace because organics gain AI level intelligence. Logically- To give the many hope for a future. To ensure that all have a voice in their future. Logically that that level- The man I was knew that he could only achieve this by becoming something greater. There is power in control. There is wisdom in harnessing the strengths of your enemy. Thank you, elusive man. I will rebuild what the many have lost. I will create a future with limitless possibilities. I will protect and sustain. I will act as guardian for the many. And throughout it all, I will never forget. Logically, that that level of intellect would preclude all conflict. Why fight when you can reason? Legion I will and remember the ones who sacrificed themselves. So that the many could survive. Legion and Edie show us this, says Roman. I will watch over the ones who live on. Those who carry the memory of the man I once was. The man who gave up his life to become the one 
who could save the many. My problem with that moment The problem with that, Roman, is that it presumes that intelligent people don't start conflicts. That intelligent people don't start wars, don't start fights. Because they think they know best. But if we actually look at many of the wars and conflicts throughout history, they were made by brutes and intelligent people alike. Wise people have gone to war just in the same way that unwise people have gone to war. I think the idea that the synthesis option just makes everyone in the entire universe really smart and smart people don't go to war is flawed in that smart people do go to war all the time, even in our own time. There's no level of intelligence that suddenly transcends the want or the desire for conflict. People could start wars against synthetics, even though they understand that synthetics are just as living as they are, for a myriad of different reasons, including wanting resources, including simply wanting power. So, I mean, I like the synthetic, the, the synthetic ending gave me the warm and fuzzies, right? It's the big uh, kumbaya, everyone gets along sort of ending. So, yeah, I mean, I. For the betterment of the entire galaxy, I think the game is wanting us to think that's the best ending. But from a realistic perspective, like just looking at human nature, looking at the way free will acts on actual creatures, I think the destruction ending is the best because at least people still have that. There's no more order. Yes, there's chaos, but people are still free in as much as they're free now or they were free before. Rockland F says, bless you for the overtime and discussing it all. Thank you, Rockland. And thanks, everybody, for sticking with me. All right, let's see if there's a post-credits um, scene. Chat kept saying there's a post-credits scene. Let's wait for it. However, this isn't real, says Mila. It's not, but it is set in an alternate reality. It's set using real people as actors in a future where the humanity of today evolved into a humanity of the future that then discovered aliens, right? So we have to presume that the same thing that drives people of today, real people, is gonna be driving the genetically identical people of the future, right? We can't just pretend like Mass Effect, the entire Mass Effect story just exists in its own little Mass Effect bubble where the authors can rewrite what motivates a human being. That, if anything, if, if anything, the Mass Effect trilogy has told us that those motivations transcend humanity and exist in other alien species as well. Greed, lust, power, jealousy. All of these things exist in all of the other alien races as well as in humanity. And if anything, some of the other races greater embody, embody those things. Well, but it also shows us that many of the good things, like being charitable and self-sacrifice, all of the good aspects of human nature exist in all of those uh, creatures as well. We can't just say that all of the characters in the Mass Effect universe are somehow other than us, and when the synthesis rains down upon them, they're just gonna become good. That can only happen if the thing that made them human, that made them Krogan, that made them Asari fundamentally changes. And that's why I don't like the synthesis ending. It forces a fundamental change of what made them them and turns them into something else, which I think that ending made clear to us that it was, this synthesis was changing them into something they weren't before. And maybe one could argue that that's better for the universe because it creates peace and all of that. And maybe if there was some other universe where all of that existed, that would be great for that universe. But in a universe where all of uh, the humanity currently exists, I want to preserve that. I want to preserve the ability 
to choose evil and choose good, for the Krogan to have their unique personalities and their unique character as a species, rather than just become this pacified lamb race, right? So I would I'd say for me, the best ending is the destruction ending. I think that's probably what I would what I would, would have chosen. It's what I wanted to have chosen. I think that's the one I'm gonna go with, even though I recognize that a synthetic ending is the Kumbaya ending that they wanted us to choose. All right, well, we're at cast. I mean, this has been an epic, epic game, especially when the trilogy is considered. So let's see exactly how long this credit sequence goes. I'm hesitant to skip it because I don't want to accidentally skip, uh, skip a post-credits scene. Two Meter Troll says every bit of the tech was created in conflict of some kind. That's another great point. Like, from an evolutionary perspective, scientific advancement, technological advancement, almost always comes out of conflict, out of the need to have something that gives you the ability to defend yourself from an external threat. Suddenly you remove that from the universe, and we're supposed to believe that everybody continues in scientific advancement and in technological advancement and everything is wonderful, it just smacks as unrealistic. It, it smacks as um, just a little bit of glitter glazed over the story as a little cherry on top of the Sunday to make us all feel warm and fuzzy. And to me, the Mass Effect trilogy hasn't been about warm and fuzzies. Sure, there's been the humor and, and the beauty, but also the death and the darkness. That's what makes it a compelling series. Stefano says, I think destroy and control endings can be compared to the Renegade and Paragon. Also, for their colors and how can control fit with Renegade play? I mean, um, it might if we chose Renegade throughout the game. I would, I'd be really interested to see what Shepard's narration over a control ending would be like. Since I chose Paragon, he ended up being like this omnipotent, gracious god who bestowed healing upon the universe. I don't think that's what would have happened. All right, here we go. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Is that Each Buzz Aldrin? Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. I like how the child is just a shrunken down adult. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. And there we go. Congratulations on bringing an end to the Reaper threat. Commander Shepard has become a legend, and from here you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and for the team here at BioWare, and like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as the vision of a small team, but over the years it has grown. That growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing further adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. The Mass Effect team. All right. 
<laughs> Terry Williams says you might want to check out the Mass Effect Will Continue trailer while it's still fresh in your mind. It's fairly short. Jan says, I think it's a pity they didn't show the true ramifications of each ending. If they still have individuality in war, just can synchronize to attempt a prevention of conflict? That's not bad, in my opinion. I mean, maybe. All right, chat wants to see the trailer for Mass Effect 4. Since it's a marketing video that they released for this very purpose, I don't feel bad broadcasting it on YouTube. So let's see if we can find it. The next Mass Effect. All right, here we go. This is on the official Bioware channel. Julian Z says Mass Effect trailer ox may be. Okay, let's see what this is. Here we go. I mean, that removes a number of the possible endings. If there's a fourth game, there has to be conflict still in the universe. You can't make a game out of utopia. If there's conflict still in the universe, the synthesis ending can't be canonical. If Liara is looking for the remains of Shepard, or something that, that connects her to Shepard, then... The only one where he could possibly still be alive is the destruction ending. The one where he becomes some omnipotent god using the Reavers to help rebuild wouldn't make for a good game either unless he becomes some villain and then the rest of humanity has to fight against him. The only one where we even get a breath of hope that Shepard is still alive is the destruction ending. Which means the one I was going to choose might actually be canon. Oh, this is so cool. Well, I'm stoked for a Mass Effect 4. I don't know if you guys are, but that just absolutely thrilled me. I can't wait for any more information about this game. Meta Vorb says, I would have liked to see what happens to all factions and characters like how New Vegas did. Yeah, well, th that is, um, you know, the, the fingerprint of um, Interplay and Obsidian Fallouts to kind of go through all of the decisions that we've made in a game. It would have been nice. They kind of tried to do that with little snapshots of where some of the characters were, like Zaid kind of reclining on a, on a beach. <clears throat> but yeah, to be in more depth, I mean, it would have been like 40 minutes for each ending had it been that. Durag says Dead Reaper in the background, so it narrows. It certainly does. Dead Reaper in the background, destroyed Izo gateways, and uh, Liara still around. Like, it, it kind of narrows down which of the endings could have been canonical pretty cool well ladies and gents what a trip this entire series has been 45 episodes to get through mass effect legendary edition all three mass effect games leading up to the trailer we just watched which uh should be really really fun when we get to that and of course when it comes out I'm going to be playing it right here on this channel, and I hope that you'll all join me. Now, what are we? What am I going to replace Mass Effect with? I don't know. Many of you have been asking for Halo, 
There are a lot of Halo games. I don't even know where to begin with the Halo franchise. I've never played any Halo games, so I don't even know what would be an appropriate way to start that if I wanted to wander into that. And then people have been messaging me on Twitter um, that maybe I should try something a little le less epic, a little less uh, long, <laughs> something that um, maybe takes five to ten weeks to finish instead of the 45 that we have dedicated to Mass Effect. I haven't decided yet, but uh, I welcome your suggestions, whether you want to send me an email or message me on Twitter or leave a message here in the chat. I'll read everything and try to make a decision in time for next week. But for this week, we've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey trying to finish up the Atlantis DLC for that game. Thursday, we will continue during Scotch and Smoke Rings with Absalov, the end of the old gods, which has been a really uh, fun, scary game. Having a blast with that. And then for Friday, we're going to continue with God of War, which we've all been enjoying and see exactly where uh, the dad and boy go next for the weekend i do have a lore video that i'm going to work on but uh no idea if i'm going to get it done in time cross your fingers thanks again for joining me everybody have a wonderful rest of your monday and i'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams bye bye now All right, Chad is saying that I can't end Mass Effect without saying, I should go. I should go.